how to create and customize forms in Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today, we'll be showing you how to create and customize forms in Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that allows you to create stunning websites and online stores without any coding experience. Whether you're a blogger, business owner, or a creative professional, Squarespace has everything you need to build a professional-looking website. One of the many features that Squarespace offers is the ability to create forms that you could use to collect information from your visitor. With Squarespace, you can create forms for a variety of purposes such as contact forms, RSVP forms, and less RSVP forms and newsletter signups. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of creating and customizing forms in Squarespace. We'll cover everything from choosing the right form template to adding and editing the form fields to customizing the look and feel of your form. So whether you're just starting out with Squarespace or just looking to take your website to the next level, this tutorial is for you. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to do of course is go to squarespace.com. Currently I am in the template section because we are going to be creating our website from scratch. Now over here I'm simply going to select a random template that we are going to use. For you you should for example we're going to go with this one over here Bergen and we're going to wait for it to start setting up and just like that our site is now done setting up we're simply going to start editing our website this is our current website right now now the first thing you're going to do is of course go create a new page we're going to click on new page click on add over here and you're going to start with a blank page and over here we're going to name this page for now as forms just like that and we're going to save that and as you can see here this is our blank page so what we're going to do is we're going to click on edit and we would be able to edit this entire section right now we're simply going to click on add section and you could add from the different sections over here we're going to simply add a blank section but you could use all of these different options that we have over here but for us we're going to go with blank section for now and just like that we have a blank section and hovering over this you're going to see options such as add block edit section duplicate section heart section Move the section to up and down. That only works if there are more than one section in your page. But right now we only have one so we can't move that. And you could also remove this entire section. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to click on add block over here. And as you can see here you would be able to see the different blocks and elements that you could add to your page. There are a lot of options over here and you could use any of these options. For now, we're going to go with what we are trying to do for today, which is forms. You're going to select the form over here. If you can't see it, you're simply going to type in form on your search bar and you're going to click on form. And as you can see here, our form is now on our page. We could move our form around by clicking this and hold dragging it just like that. We could move it to our center. We could make it wider if we want, just like that. If you would like to do this, you could also make it smaller doing this just like that it depends on how you would like your form to be for now we're going to go and center this make it a bit bigger for us to see just like that and currently the form is for your first name last name email subject and then your message over here and submit button over here to edit your form you're simply going to click on your form you could either align vertically duplicate delete or you could click on edit over here which would allow you to edit the settings of this specific form as you can see here on the right side we have the form name button text edit form field and post submit over here we're going to first edit the name of our form I'm going to edit this as our testing form just like that and over here for our button text this is our button over here we could change this to any word that we'd like for example we could click on we could have it as next just like that as you can see it's going to change or change it to done just like that we're going to have it as done for now the next thing we could do is we could edit the form fields now the form fields are this different blocks that we have here such as first name last name email subject and message these are the form fields that 
the user would enter information into and then send to the owner of the website. So by clicking on edit form fields over here, you can see the different form fields that we are going to be requiring our user to enter. As you can see, we have our name, email, subject, and message over here. You could click on name and you could change the label. You could change the label to anything you would like to have. For example, you could delete this. As you can see, it's going to change. We're going to have to enter a label, for example, cool name. Just like that and they would appear over here this is more on like an instruction to your users you could also enter a description over here you could say make sure to enter the correct information as you can see just like that and it's going to appear on our form as well you could also make this required or not required by clicking on required there will be an asterisk on the side of the label as you can see there's an asterisk right now and there is no asterisk right now going to click on back we could also edit the email section over here you could change this to for example you only want a google email you could type in google email just like that to make sure that you would only be typing in emails that are google related and not other type of emails like yahoo and you could type in another description like make sure to use your google email just like that and we have the description on our screen right now you could also add a placeholder over here. You could add this. And right now, we could choose, for example, example at gmail.com, as you can see, to give your users more guide. And you could make this required or not required. Click on back. You could also click on your subject over here. You could do the same thing, like the subject, change it to whatever you want, add the description. And you could add a placeholder, like subject for your message just like that to give your users more guide if you want to delete a specific section for example you don't want to have a subject or a message you can simply click on delete over here and it would automatically be deleted from your form as you can see it's now gone and you could click on add field and you could choose from any of these options that you could add to your form for example you would like to have a phone number you could click that and you would be able to add phone number to your form over here you could show your country code just like that and make it required you could delete this once again and you could add more fields for example we're going to go and check out our select over here you could do that and we could click this you would be able to add different options that we have over here for example uh, we're going to go with profession we're going to delete our label over here we're going to type in profession just like that, you could click on option and then you could edit the options over here. For example, our option number one is digital artist. Just like that. Our second option is content creator, depending on what options that you would like to have. And you could add more by clicking on add over here. And as you can see here, we have digital artist as one of our options. You could also add description like the other options that we have. Now we could click on back click on back once again and now we're going to check out our post and submit over here now in this section we would be able to decide what would happen when someone clicks on done or clicks on the button over here we could have a message over here which says thank you you could do anything or add anything you would like to the message you could also have an html over here if you would like to have more designs or more content to be displayed you could also click on redirect here which would redirect the person to whatever link you add over here for example you would like them to be redirected to your instagram just like that you can enter your instagram url and whenever they click on done they would be redirected to wherever this web link is located click on back once again we could click on design this time we could edit the alignment of our button we could make it centered right aligned or left aligned which we saw earlier we could make it a uh, center and we also have light box over here we're going to check this out later on for now, we're going to go with our storage. On the storage, this is where the information garnered from the form would be sent to. As you can see, we have our email over here. We could connect our Google Drive, Zapier, and MailChimp. MailChimp is an email campaign website wherein you would be able to edit and create campaigns using emails. And you could connect your MailChimp with this so that you would be able to add your contacts whenever people fill in the forms over here and it would be directed to your mailchimp account you could also enable google recapture over here if you would like to avoid spam email subscribers over here and 
we could go back to our design and we have this light box over here i could enable this and as you can see it's going to be minimized and we could add our text over here you could change it to open form or get started depending on what message that you would like to have and that would be what it would look like now we're going to check it out what does the light light box does as you can see our entire form is gone we're going to click on save and we're going to check this out we're going to go back to our exit over here and we could click on this button over here and we could click on get started and as you can see it's going to appear as a pop-up it's not going to appear on our, on our entire page it's now going to appear as a pop-up for our page and then we can enter our name last name and then our email over here choose our profession from digital artist to content creator or the different options that you have chosen and then when you click on done you would be redirected or have the message thank you depending on what you chose as you can see because we selected this as required it's not allowing us to proceed without filling in this information you can see your form has encountered a problem you would need to enter your google email over here click on back click on exit and you could do this once again click on here click on edit and you would be able to edit your form even more by going back here design and disabling this and that's it guys that's how you can easily create and customize your form for your squarespace website hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching